What is going on guys welcome back to another Android application development series in Android Studio. In this series we are going to develop a fully fledged chat application. So in this chat application we will have search functionality, we can send message to the user, we can receive the message from the user, we will also implement login with OTP authentication, we will be using Firebase as a backend service. So from this series you will learn a lot of things from making UI, implementing login with OTP, Firebase authentication, recycler view, store user and chat information into the Firebase database, getting that data from the Firebase and much more things. So watch this full series and make the fully functional application that will be chat application from scratch. So let's get started with new Android Studio project. We'll create a new project. We will select empty activity and we will give the application name easy chat give the package name as yours and we will select the minimum SDK at Android 8.0 and the language will be Java click on finish so our application is loaded first thing we will do is we will set some colors and theme to our application so go to resource values and in colors.xml I will remove this default colors black and white let it be remove all those colors and we will put our own colors. I have some colors, so color name I will give my primary and I will add the color code. You can click over here and you can change the color of your application but I will make this color. I will give my secondary as another yellow color. So we will give two color black and white and also I need one off white color that will be this one and one gray color also that will be let's name it light gray okay so i have added some colors now let's go to themes.xml where we have to change the color so in themes.xml color primary i will set it to my primary color primary variant also my primary color secondary i will set it to my secondary color secondary variant will be my secondary also for theme.xml night I will do the same my primary my primary and for secondary my secondary my secondary and one more thing I will do is I will add a I will add window background item item will be window background I will set that color to off-white so I will make my application off white color same I will do a night theme also later we will change this and that's it we are done with our themes and colors we can close that so first we will make a splash screen or loading screen so when our application is loaded we will first show the splash screen and after some second we will go to the another activity so for that let's go to package over here right click new activity and select empty activity so here we will give the name splash activity click on finish now we have activity splash.xml and splash activity.java so let's go to activity splash.xml and click on split over here so that we can see view and this code over here now we'll design this screen splash screen will be simple we'll remove this constant layout make it as a relative layout and I will set the background for this that will be my primary so background will be my primary so background color of splash screen will be red color now I will put one image view that will act as a logo I will add the text and progress bar over here so for that I will make a linear layout width will be match parent height will be wrap content so inside this I will put everything orientation will be vertical so first thing I will add is image view but I don't have image I have to create the image so go to drawable new vector asset and from here we can create the asset so click on clip art over here I will add some you can add your own logo also but I will add this one okay I will name it chat icon give the size about 100 dp color we will change it later so click on finish so we have this chat icon dot xml so here I will create an image view where I will give the fixed height and fixed width 160 dp 
and I will give the source of this image view to our chat icon it will look like this I will give the tint for this that will be my secondary color yellow color tint it is asking me to use app tint so make it app tint so this will be our icon now we'll add text view below this but before that we can center it so let's make this linear layout as match parent so that it will take full and gravity will be center so it will come on center now we will add text view so text view width will be wrap content height will be wrap content here text will be you can write anything but i will get it app name so strings app name i will change the size about 40 sp change the text color also to white and we will bold it text style bold and also i will give the font family as mono space so now it is looking like this i will give some margin top also margin top will be 20 dp okay so below this we will create a progress bar so that while loading we can show the progress bar i will give the width 32 dp height will be wrap content as you can see progress bar is visible over here and also one text view i will put it over here so after this linear layout text view width will be match parent height will be wrap content i'll put a simple text that will be developed by easy tutor you can write your name instead of that i will align it to bottom true here it comes gravity will be center and margin bottom we will give about 20 dp let's change the text color also it will be off white so that's it our splash screen is ready so what we will do is we will go to first manifest and from here you can see intent filter over here whichever activity has intent filter that will load first when we run the application so first we want to load the splash activity so i will cut this intent filter from here and paste it over here in splash activity and this android exported should be true over here and in main activity it should be false so that when we run the application it will load splash activity let's run it and test it how it is looking in our mobile phone as you can see it is looking nice as expected we have everything over here and progress bar is going on we have to remove this action bar because we don't want this action bar we want this application as full screen so let's go to theme.xml and change this action bar to no action bar on both of the themes now let's rerun it as you can see action bar is gone now application is looking very nice so that's all for this video in next video we will design the login screen to get the phone number from the user if you have any doubts and queries if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to click on subscribe button before going see you in the next video Bye bye